so here now um, the ball is on top of the smoke okay now the smoke um, doesn't look very um, very good yet and that is because the fading away of the smoke is too regular so what I'm doing is I'm going back to the smoke and what I now want to do is I want to make it so that the fading out of the smoke puff is a little bit more random at the moment every puff of smoke fades away with exactly the same rate um, to make that look a little more interesting um, I want to make it fade um, with a slightly random rate so I'm creating here a new field called fade and that is the rate of fading um, and I want to make that a bit random so that some puffs of smoke fade away a bit quicker than others um, so in the constructor what I can do is I can um, assign a random number to the fade um, so I say fade becomes greenfoot dot get random number and let's say um, I want values um, between one and three one two or three so I could say get random number out of three um, but let, so when the value is one, it will fade a bit more slowly. When the value is three, it will fade fast. And the, th the two in the middle is sort of the average fade. And if I want to have more puffs that fade um, at the average rate, so if I want to make the probability for the two higher, what, I, what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm taking a number out of four um, and I'm adding one. So um, if I just say, a random number out of four I would get values 0 2 3 by adding one I'm getting values of 1 to 4 um, and what I'm saying then I say if the value is 4 then I make the value 2 what I've done here is I have now together with the random number in the if statement, I have um, in fade a value between one and three, one, two, or three, but the probability for it being two is twice as high because um, for the random values of two and four, I end up with a value of two. So I have made the probability a bit higher that the value is um, two. So now here, um, instead of fading um, with a constant there this is you know making the image smaller I use my fade um, value so here the image gets smaller by with a value somewhere being one two or three with the chance of it being two a little higher than for the others let's try that out see what that looks like so that looks already a bit better. See, we get these sort of single puffs appearing here um, because some puffs of smoke um, fade a bit slower. And the speed of the ball is random. So if I reset that and do that again, now it's a bit higher. This looks already pretty good. Now, if we, last thing also, because the puff is fairly, uh, the smoke is fairly solid at the moment. If I also make it a bit more transparent as it fades away, then it may look even better. So let's try that out. So here, in addition to scaling the size of the smoke image, I also make it transparent. So I say image dot um, set transparency. And now we have to um, think about that a bit we can get the current transparency and then subtract a bit of it so I can first start by saying get image dot get transparency oops there's an error there I mean a dot here get transparency get image get transparency and then I want to subtract something of it um, I can just subtract my fade value so the the faster it fades, the, far, the more transparent it becomes. That is probably not enough. I want to probably multiply that with something, say, multiply that by five so that it fades a little bit more quickly. Um, let's try that out. And there we go. Here we have a reasonably nice looking smoke effect um, emanating from the ball now. And 
and we can try that a few times with other speed for the ball so if I reset this this time the ball is a little bit faster and this looks pretty good okay um, let's finish here that's enough for today this shows you how you can create a visual effect a um, stream of smoke coming out of one of your objects you can of course um, select different colors for the smoke you can experiment with the parameters with the rate of how quickly it fades that is how quickly the puff of smoke becomes smaller and becomes more transparent and can create your own variations of those um, this example, the smoke example, by the way, is one of the examples discussed in the Greenfoot book. I can show you a website here. If you go to the greenfoot.org website, you will find a reference here, a link to the Greenfoot book, um, Introduction to Programming with Greenfoot. If you are interested in reading more details about this, um, this example is discussed in a little bit more detail there. This is all for now. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye-bye.